In this demonstration, we're going to look at the relationship between three important variables. The acceleration of a cart, the force exerted up on the cart, and the mass of the cart. To determine information about the acceleration of the cart, I have a motion detector right here that's going to detect the motion of the cart and feed information to my computer, and it's going to plot acceleration along the vertical axes of my graph. And then for the force, I have a little force sensor on the cart. As I push and pull up on that force sensor, the sensor senses the amount of force, and it's going to plot that along the horizontal axis. And then finally, I have a mass balance that we can use to mass the cart. We'll begin that way. I'm going to put the cart on the mass balance and determine that the cart's mass is 0.704 kilograms. Now, I'm going to set up the computer to collect some data and we'll watch the data being graphed in the background on the computer screen. Here we go. I do several pushes and pulls. Computer equipment collects information about the acceleration as a function of the force I've applied. And now what I'm going to do is analyze this data. So I'm going to drag over a portion of the line here, and I'm going to ask the computer to calculate the slope of that line. And the slope of the line is 1.38, and it says meters per second squared per newton. 1.38 is the slope. Okay, now what I'm going to do is clear that data and try a second trial. And so in my second trial, what I'm going to do is change the mass of my cart. Uh, I do that by just taking a little hunk of mass and sticking it on the cart, something like that. And now I want to measure the new mass of the cart. And the new mass of the cart is 2.042 kilograms. 2.042 kilograms is the new mass of the cart. And if I can get that hunk of mass to balance on there, we'll be able to do our second trial with a different mass to see what effect that has up on the graph and the slope of the graph. Here we go. several back and forth pushes and pulls and now I'm going to analyze that data to find out the slope of this graph. So I highlight a section of that line and then I click the find me the slope button and it tells me the slope of this graph is 0.483 meters per second squared per newton. That's 0.483 is the slope of the second grid. Now we're going to kind of look at the numbers and you'll read about that in the text that you see underneath this video.